back to Brazil, Hard Enduro fans, to the newly minted Red Bull Minas Riders. Four day rally is entering its second day, and things are just heating up. Day one gave us an action-packed double feature with an off-road race in the morning and a rough and tumble prologue in the afternoon. With Alfredo Gomez winning both events, it's time to see if anyone can catch the swift Spaniard as we head back to the off-road. Day two, one of the hardest days of the rally. Over 160 kilometers of rugged Brazilian terrain lie ahead. Sitting in a comfortable lead, the Spaniard knows it's no time to let down his guard. Yeah, it's day two. Yesterday I win the prologue and uh, I can choose uh, where I want to start. I, I choose third, so uh, I'm following, so and I will try to catch uh, him and bolts again. Uh, yeah, let's make it until the end. Locked and loaded, Bolton heads off first into the abyss. Back to the action. It's stunning landscapes as far as the eye can see, but beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Some riders want to give up, while others push forward with a little more ease. Yesterday's third place finisher, Paul Bolton, maintains the lead until the silent assassin sneaks up and makes the pass. A dirt cake Lars Enical, who needed a big rebound after a disappointing day one, kept pace until a dust slowed him. Uh, the first part of the day was quite fast, with a lot of fast section. It was really difficult with all the dust, so sometimes I really had to close the gas because it was quite dangerous. Picking up speed after the rest station, overall leader Alfredo Gomez can't quite match yesterday's performance and settles for third. The big surprise of the day came from Philip Schultz. The German put in solid work, making up for a troubled day one outing. He takes the second best score of the day and pulls himself closer to third place. As for Jarvis, it's business as usual. The Brit takes the best time, knocking off two minutes from Gomez's lead. It's been a really long day, yeah, it's been incredibly tough. Uh, this morning there's nothing difficult, but then this afternoon it was so slow riding and long grass, hidden rocks, big holes to drop into, tree stumps, it had everything. After a brutal day of racing, only three minutes separate the top two, and the battle for third is only getting tighter. Anything is possible heading into day three as the riders continue their charge through this off-roading paradise. And remember, you can catch the full highlights of Red Bull Minus Riders starting April 29th on Red Bull TV. Just